Hey ladies, Jen here. It has been a while since I've done a video and it's a long time coming for me to talk about the Fresh Baked series. I have the eyeshadows as well as the cute little glosses here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get started by um, put sampling the eyeshadows. I have worn them once. I just didn't video the first time I did it and they are absolutely gorgeous. They are like no other colors we have. The smoked spice shimmer is a little bit like the brownstone, but it's deeper in tone. It's darker and it has a little bit of a mauve tint to it, but it's beautiful because you can wear it with warm colors or if you want to go with a cool um, tone. Um, I guess if I had to say if it was warm or cool, I would say it leans on the cool side. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get started with the Okay, brown sugar shimmer. This is a similar tone as the garnet. I'm going to show you here. Okay, I can't do this upside down. It is so pretty. I'm just gonna touch my eye a little bit. I'm gonna use this as more of a transition color today. Normally, if I were to do a two shadow color application, I would do it as a crease color, which I am putting it in my crease, but I'm gonna go higher with it because as you blend it out, it really softens. So I feel like you could use it as both a transition, blended, see how light that got? A blended transition, or you could go in, which I will do after I'm done putting on the buttercream. Sorry if that light is toying here. After I put on the buttercream, it's really gonna lighten that up as well. Look at how pretty that is. They're very buildable, so if you wanted to go a little darker, which I feel like I can do because I am going to be going over it with the buttercream. Because I have so much space between my lid and my eyebrow, I go up a little bit higher. I'm just tapping the wand and going a little bit darker. Tap, tap, tap. Look at how pretty that color is, it's so pretty. And this is the buttercream. It's warm, warm, gooey goodness. Just like buttercream really would be. I don't Here is the beautiful buttercream. I'm gonna put it on my hand first so you can see it. Look at how pretty that is. It has a little bit of a copper color, but it's on the lighter side, so it's a little lighter than a copper rose. It's beautiful and warm in tone. I'm gonna take my flat brush and I'm just gonna tap it and move it around. I'm gonna go right over the brown sugar shimmer. Get in my corners. I'm gonna go up to my lid, over my lid I should say, and into my brow area. See how pretty and warm that is? And then I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna come in with the um, smoked spice shimmer. But first of all, I'm going to go back with the brown sugar shimmer. I'm gonna go underneath my eyes. It's really good and it looks polished. And I'm just taking a little pointy brush here. And I'm going underneath my eyes. It just brings and ties in that color. Look how pretty that is together. It's not that dark, so it looks really natural. And then I want, now I'm going to use this brown sh sugar as a crease color as well. So I use it as a transition underneath because I wanted to go up higher with it. Now I'm hitting the corners and keeping it a little tighter to my crease as an accent. Look how pretty that is. It just deepens it up a little bit. Oh, my hair got in my way. I usually have my hair pulled back. And that's just a really pretty accent. And it's the same color, but I have like a three color look, but it's just using the two colors. I'm just hitting the edge and up into the crease a little bit. And that's my accent. Now let's throw in the mix, this smoked spice shimmer. This is gonna give a little ashy tone. 
and I'm gonna use it just a little bit. And I'm gonna go just adds a little extra layer of dimension in tone. It definitely amps up the look a little bit, adds a little bit more depth to the color combination. I honestly think this um, color would look really pretty by itself with like pink opal shimmer. It would give a little bit of a mauve color if you're not sold unnecessarily going purple. If you added like pink opal shimmer to this, it would give just a hint of mauve. I think that would be really pretty. Those are the colors here. And now I'm gonna go in. I have my mascara and everything warming up because it, if you warm it up, I just kind of stuff it in my bra. It actually, actually, you know what I didn't do? I didn't give you a sample of what this color looks like. Look at that beautiful shimmer. I'm not as neat as the other ladies. I did a thicker swatch just so you could see the color combination. Now I'm gonna go in and do my mascara. All done. Look at this smoky goodness. It's warm and gooey with a little bit of smoked spice shimmer and it's gorgeous. So let's get started by adding my favorite red right now, Dusty Rose. I do have a couple left. It's I haven't gotten the warning yet that it's almost sold out, thank goodness. Just waiting for that day. I'm gonna start with layering the outside of my lip. And then I'm gonna go on the inside. It's layer one. This looks really dark, but it goes on extremely sheer. And while that is drying in between coats, I'm gonna talk a little bit about each of these glosses. This is the apple cinnamon, and as you would expect, it smells just like apple cinnamon. It's so delicious. This is a nice sheer sparkly red. That'd be really pretty on top of even just neutral colors to give it a little extra pop. Let's go layer two of the Dusty Rose. I love reds in other people. I'm always like, oh my gosh, I wish I was more comfortable wearing reds. Um, but I like more of a soft red for myself, which this is like perfect. I would definitely say it's like a soft red that is a deeper tone, but not dark. This is the color Gumdrop. It's a really pretty sparkly pink. It smells sweet like sugar. And then of course we have this really pretty sugar cookie. It has that vanilla butter, it smells so good. This is a shimmery golden color. I'm actually going to put this on top of my Dusty Rose. And then we have ch Chocolate Caramel. This one doesn't have any shimmer. It's kind of a flat color, but has like a satin finish. So it's not super glossy, but it's also not matte. Let's go in with layer two for Dusty Rose. Look at that. Red perfection. Again, soft red perfection. So that is, um, I think what I'll do is I think I'll go over it with just some glossy gloss to get started with to seal it in so you can just see what it looks like by itself. I'll dry it, look at it. Isn't it so soft? I love this color. 
And then on my cheeks, I have um, the bronze dust along with some desert rose as my blush. So, and if you wanted to add a little bit of extra sparkle, I would just throw some of the sugar cookie on top. That even softens that red even more. Look at how much it tones it down. But of course it doesn't tone it down for good because once that gloss wears off, then you have that deep color underneath. So that's my look ladies, thank you, bye. Um, if you, I do have a couple extra sets that I bought of the glosses as well as the shadows. Take care, bye.